Yes, it's time to talk about Chrome. I've been getting a lot of emails about everything, which is awesome. Uh, you know, someone asked what uh, theme I was using for XP. I'll make a video about that soon. Uh, people are asking what I do for this, and how this works, and what I'm using for this and that. And someone asks uh, what extensions am I using in Chrome, and I thought, you know, that's uh, I should make a video about that, and then we can all talk about it. I don't use a lot of extensions uh, for Chrome. I have my favorites here, and I've got some that are just ridiculously silly. I do like uh, Chrome flags. It puts a little flag up here in the corner, which is cool because I'm browsing a lot of metal sites, and it's cool to see what country the website's from. Uh, drag and go, you basically uh, highlight a word, and then you can click it and drag it up or drag it down, and it um, will open up a Google browser and search for that word or YouTube or whatever you said it to. It's kind of stupid, but it's not bad. All right, here's um, one that everyone should have, Flash Block. So that way you never have to uh, open up a website and hear uh, something stupid like, Hey, you want a new iPod! Or some crap like that. That uh, saves my sanity. Of course, i got a dictionary. Just hover over a word. It'll tell you the uh, definition. It's actually getting annoying because I know the definition of every word ever. And uh, this thing just gets me. You know what? Disable that for now. Yeah, that's right. Um... I tab classic Internet Exploder inside of Chrome. I just basically read that because uh, it, that's what it is. Send from Gmail. It puts a little uh, send this link with Gmail button right up here, which is kind of cool. And it also sets Gmail as your default. So if you've got Outlook and every time you click on a, a mail to link, it opens up Outlook and you want to kill someone because you can't stand Outlook because it takes 500 years to load on your computer, well, this will fix that. <coughs> Where's my tea? Oh, it's too hot. This is terrifying. Um, smooth scroll, of course. Uh, stop autoplay for YouTube. This rocks because if you're someone who opens up 15 YouTube videos at the same time, like a moron, well, they're all going to play, aren't they? And then you're going to hear some girl's voice. You're going to hear some guy talking about Bill O'Reilly eating a sandwich with a mesh shirt on. Uh, and you're going to hear whatever song and probably Rick Roll and some other things, too, and hopefully uh, me talking my nonsense. But this will stop that. It'll pre-buffer all those videos, and then you can go and individually click play on the ones you want to watch whenever you want to watch them. How nice is that? Also have Web of Trust installed. And just read it on the screen or I'll kill you. Now, let's talk about what's cool about IE Tab Classic and uh, why I have this, which is blasphemy to be using Internet Exploder. Uh, well, you know, you can't play Quake Live in Chrome yet. So, uh, we have a However, this little Exploder beacon will actually open whatever link uh, you had here in the at the top, it'll open it right here in an Internet Exploder window. It takes a second. I mean, I guess you could really just open Firefox and play Quake Live, but if you just want to have one browser open, go away. Now we are in uh, Internet Explorer, and you can uh, log in and walk Quake Live and play it. So that's kind of cool. It also works. You know, there's a lot of other um, websites that do not support Chrome, so if you ever need to open up an Internet Explorer loader window you can do that quite easily by clicking on that button um, oh the last thing that everyone should do this is very important and you know it's not really an extension or anything but uh, think about organizing your icons this way it's very easy actually well, that can that can go away there yes um, what I do is I, I you know you drag it down to the uh, the bookmark bar here and it makes a link there with the horned hand metal you should all go to keep it metal and make a link like this and then I usually delete the name there because then it's just the uh, favorite icon. And that should be your favorite, favorite icon. It's my favorite, favorite icon. If it's not, God, I've been threatening lots of people. But, uh, uh, yeah, I should, I should threaten you. If you don't do this, I will come to your house, take out a cheese grater, and use it on the back of your head <laughs> while you're asleep. Oh, God. The horror.